Nikola Tesla said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And that is exactly what we're doing here with the body code. We're thinking in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So, first of all, you need to understand that everything is ultimately made of energy, right? And everything has vibration. And some energy takes the form of physical matter. And of course, that's you know, your physical body, but it's still energy. And some energy is invisible. For example, the spirit, which is also referred to as the chi or the ki or the prana and goes back uh, many, many thousands of years, right? Those understandings. So if you take a look at your hand, for example, okay, uh, to realize that you are a being of pure energy, you need to look at your hand. And uh, that hand appears solid, right? But that hand is really 99% empty space. In fact, it's 99.9999999% empty space. In fact, some quantum physicists recently figured out that uh, if you could take all the empty space out of everybody's body on Earth, you could put all 7.8 billion of us into a little box the size of a sugar cube, and it would be very crowded, but we would all fit. Crazy, right? Now, if you magnify your hand about 40 times, with a microscope, you might be looking at the cells that make up the hand. Still your hand, it doesn't look anything like your hand, but it's still your hand. At about 850,000 times magnification, you might be looking at a strand of DNA. That's still your hand, okay? It's still your hand, it doesn't look anything like your hand though. And uh, if, you could, if you keep magnifying your hand at about a million times magnification or more, at a certain point, you're face to face with a single individual atom. And if you look inside the atom, and of course that's still your hand, right? If you look inside that atom, there's really nothing in there. There's just empty space and some little infinitesimally tiny energies that are zipping around uh, at the speed of light. And that's really what we are. That's what you are. You are a being of pure energy, even though there's this illusion of solidity, this illusion of weight and so on. The reality of it is we are beings of pure energy. And if you can wrap your mind around that, it'll help you with the body code because you'll start to realize, oh, it's all energy and energy can change instantly, right? So we can see the energy field with curly and photography. Uh, here is a curly and photograph of some mushrooms. Curly and photography goes back to about 1939, actually. It's been around for a long time. More research has been done using curly and photography in, uh, in Russia, I would say, than probably all other countries combined. I mean, they've done so much research. They're very open to things uh, over there, more so than we have been in the West. Here's a photograph of a living leaf. You can see the energy coming out of these corners of the leaf. Uh, by the way, no light is used in curly and photography. Here are some uh, human fingertips, okay? People that are sick will often have breaks in these uh, energy projections coming out of that uh, field. So the question is, does the energy field exist without a physical body? And so uh, some, some scientists had the idea that uh, they would take a leaf off of a tree and they'd cut the top, of the, half, the top half of the leaf off and then make a curly in photo. Here's what they saw. Uh, there's the line here where the leaf was cut in two. Here's the physical half. And here's the part of the leaf they threw away and it's still there, still showing up. And uh, I, I like this picture because it, it just helps to show us that uh, there is an energy field in there that we normally are not aware of. And this is the area where these imbalances reside. The nice thing about it is um, the body code enables us to identify all these imbalances that are going on in this subconscious mind and that spirit part of us. That spirit intelligence within the leaf, it is intelligent, by the way. We can refer to that as the energy body or the spirit. And that part of our makeup as human beings is generally ignored by mainstream medicine, right? But all other methods of healing that go back thousands of years have all tried to address that part of our makeup. Now, that energy blueprint helps our bodies to heal and regain balance and regenerate. And trapped emotions will distort the blueprint and disrupt the healing, as will many other kinds of imbalances that are found in the body code, not just trapped emotions. So 
Trapped emotions, however, are the most common type of imbalance that we see. So when you first start using the body code, you will, uh, you know, with a, with a person or with yourself, you may find lots of imbalances that are emotional, lots of trapped emotions. Uh, but as time goes on, you'll find other, other kinds as well. Um, but don't be too surprised if initially with working with somebody that uh, a lot of the stuff that you're clearing is emotional in nature. And of course, trapped emotions affect the physical body as well. Now, um, Dr. Masaru Moto did some really interesting work uh, that showed how water reacts to different vibrations of energy. Uh, these crystal patterns would vary depending on uh, what the water was exposed to, not only the source of the water, whether the water was taken from a, some kind of a polluted source or something, but if they played music nearby water, or if they taped words to water vials, or if they placed photos nearby, or before and after prayer, they would get different kinds of snowflakes. Here we have a heavy metal song played for music. Uh, here we have Imagine by John Lennon, different kinds of snowflakes that were formed. They would flash freeze these water droplets, you see, and get different kinds of snowflakes. So here they taped words to water vials, left those words taped to the water vials for a period of time. On the left, they created a snowflake from um, water that had been exposed to these words, you disgust me, I will kill you. On the other side, um, it had the word truth taped to a water vial. Uh, here's where they placed photos nearby, a photo of a crop circle on the left and a photo of Niagara Falls on the right. And this almost looks like a waterfall on the right to me. It looks like Here's the water coming down and here's the mist coming up, right? Anyway, they went to a dam called Fujiwara Dam in Japan and before the Buddhist monks prayed for the water, they got a sample looks like that. After the Buddhist monks prayed for the water, they got a snowflake that looked like that. Looks like a little heart right here. Pretty interesting. The most beautiful snowflakes of all were formed when they taped the words love and gratitude to vials of water. And then they got a snowflake that looked like that. And I believe that love and gratitude are two of the most powerful forces in the universe. And they're very important, very critical for your success as a healer with the emotion code, with the body code as well.